Imagine a world where you could drive from Spain to Morocco without ever leaving your car. Sounds like a dream, right? Well, it's actually a project that's been tantalizingly close to reality for decades. The Strait of Gibraltar, a narrow strip of water separating Europe from Africa, has long been the subject of ambitious plans to bridge or tunnel the two continents. It's a tantalizing idea and one that's closer to reality than you might think. But why has this project been so elusive? What challenges have stood in the way of realizing this engineering marvel? And could it be that we're on the brink of finally seeing this dream become a reality? Let's dive into the details and uncover the fascinating history behind this ambitious undertaking. First, let's consider the logistics. The Strait of Gibraltar is roughly 37 miles long, but at its narrowest point it's only about 9 miles wide. That's a manageable distance for a bridge, especially considering Spain and Morocco are just 8 to 9 miles apart at their closest points. However, building a bridge across the strait isn't as simple as it might seem. The sea floor is uneven with deep troughs and towering peaks. Additionally, the area is prone to strong currents and seismic activity, making construction a complex and challenging undertaking. Before we delve deeper, don't forget to hit that like button if you're enjoying this content. Your support helps us keep creating engaging videos. The governments of Spain and Morocco set up a joint committee to explore the possibility of connecting the two continents back in 1979. This committee led to the development of a much larger project called Euromed Transport. Since 1981, the Spanish government has been supporting a corporation dedicated to studying and promoting future intercontinental connections, but in general, the idea of a bridge and its potential usefulness came up much earlier than all these committees, corporations and projects. Despite this, there's still no bridge or underwater tunnel. Perhaps it's all about the technical side of the question. Not quite. At this point, humanity has all the technology needed to build such a bridge. Remember, the length of such a bridge or tunnel would be about 9 miles, which is not a significant distance for modern engineering. In fact, people have built bridges and even longer ones before. There are already about a dozen overwater bridges that are over 9 miles long. For example, the bridge tunnel over the Chesapeake Bay is 15 miles long, and the Shenzhen Bay Bridge in China is 14 miles long. Even the longest bridge over water, the causeway across Lake Pontchartrain in the USA, is 24 miles long. Compared to these giants, a hypothetical bridge across the 9-mile-long Strait of Gibraltar doesn't seem incredibly complex. And it's not just my opinion, engineers think the same way. There's even a pretty feasible bridge project that has been proposed. The design features deep supports, 2,985-foot-high towers, and a span of 16,440 feet. Engineers have been calculating the costs, estimating at around 15 billion US dollars. Considering the potential benefits of connecting Africa with 1.5 billion people and Southern Europe with 150 million people, such a price tag might be a worthwhile investment. There's a clear reason why I mentioned the population numbers. Such a bridge would be heavily used. Studies have shown that this project makes sense from both a commercial and social standpoint. Plus, from a safety perspective, the potential value of connecting the two shores of the Mediterranean has never been questioned. Currently, the only way to travel between Europe and Africa is by sea or air. Reducing reliance on sea transport would be a significant step towards continuous trade, as weather conditions can sometimes disrupt shipping. A bridge would eliminate these problems. The advantages for intercontinental trade and tourism are enormous. It would also be a huge benefit for migration routes, allowing for better management of human traffic. And of course, it would create tens of thousands of jobs, not just during construction, but also after the bridge is in use. So if everything seems so promising, why hasn't the bridge been built yet? The idea of a bridge or tunnel across the Strait of Gibraltar has garnered significant support, but technical and political challenges have prevented its realization. One of the major obstacles is the strait's geographic location. The Strait of Gibraltar is characterized by strong currents and tidal flows. These currents, which are particularly powerful in the narrower sections of the strait, create an unpredictable environment that makes construction challenging. Even ships passing through the strait must exercise caution due to these currents. The water dynamics in the strait are complex. The Atlantic Ocean is less salty and less dense than the Mediterranean Sea, so it flows eastwards as a surface layer. However, there's also a westward outflow of heavier, colder and saltier water from the Mediterranean. 
These opposing currents, influenced by tidal phases, can generate internal waves that can be seen from space. These waves can have a displacement of over 330 feet and a wavelength of 1 to 2.5 miles. Given these challenging conditions, building a bridge in the Strait of Gibraltar is a complex undertaking. One potential solution is to construct a tunnel instead. However, this option also faces significant hurdles. The Strait of Gibraltar lies on the boundary between the African and Eurasian tectonic plates. This means the area is prone to seismic activity. In fact, a recent study recorded 183 earthquakes in the Mediterranean region over just 24 hours. While most of these earthquakes are minor, they highlight the seismic risk in the area. Parts of Spain near the Strait are in a higher earthquake risk zone. In 1960, Morocco experienced a devastating earthquake with a magnitude of 5.8. This shallow depth earthquake caused widespread destruction, resulting in the deaths of between 12,000 and 15,000 people. The city of Agadir was particularly hard hit, with around a third of its population losing their lives. Even if seismic activity weren't a concern, building in the Strait of Gibraltar would still present significant challenges. If the water were drained, you'd uncover a complex terrain of valleys, peaks, ridges, and mud volcanoes. This terrain, shaped by powerful water flows and tectonic movements, would make construction difficult. In the 1930s, there were plans to build a tunnel through the strait. However, these plans were abandoned due to the hard rock formations at the bottom of the strait. Additionally, the narrowest part of the strait is also the deepest, reaching up to 3,000 feet. Environmental concerns must also be carefully considered. The Strait of Gibraltar is a prime habitat for whales, dolphins, and migratory birds. Any construction project must minimize its impact on these ecosystems. Furthermore, the Strait is a busy shipping lane. Any bridge or tunnel would need to be designed to withstand potential ship collisions, which are likely to occur from time to time. The Strait of Gibraltar is one of the busiest sea routes in the world. Every five minutes, a large ship passes through, not to mention countless smaller boats and yachts. If the strait were blocked during construction, it would disrupt global maritime trade. While alternative routes exist, they are often slower and can be affected by weather conditions or piracy. The Strait of Gibraltar is essential for maintaining uninterrupted maritime traffic. It's estimated that around 120,000 ships pass through the strait each year, compared to 13 to 14,000 for the Panama Canal and 20,000 for the Suez Canal. And unlike these man-made canals, the Strait of Gibraltar is a natural formation. While nature likely didn't anticipate such heavy shipping traffic, the Strait is a vital trade route. Many ships pass through the Strait to deliver goods from west to east, including those bound for Europe and the Black Sea. Stopping maritime traffic in the Strait, even for a day, would have significant economic consequences. Building a bridge while there's constant ship traffic is unrealistic. Additionally, the bridge would need to be high enough to allow even the largest ships to pass underneath. A drawbridge is not a viable option. It would always have to remain raised, defeating the purpose of the bridge. To determine the necessary height, consider the size of container ships. These vessels have been increased in size over the years as larger ships are more cost-effective for shipping companies. The largest container ship today is the MSC Bellissima, with a length of 1,331 feet and a width of 200 feet. To put this into perspective, the Empire State Building is only slightly taller, excluding its spire. The MSC Bellissima regularly passes through the Strait of Gibraltar and many other large ships do as well. When designing a bridge, it's crucial to consider the height of these ships, which can reach up to 230 to 260 feet. While part of this height is underwater, the numbers are still impressive. And as ships continue to get larger, this factor must be taken into account. Overcoming all the obstacles and building a bridge is theoretically possible, but the cost is enormous. Estimates suggest that building a bridge across the strait could cost at least $80 million per mile. Given a minimum length of 10 miles, the cost could even exceed $1.25 billion. This high cost has been a major obstacle to the project since its inception over 40 years ago. However, a tunnel might be a more feasible option. While the tunnel would also be expensive, it could potentially be less costly than a bridge. Additionally, a tunnel would not be affected by the height of ships passing through the strait. In December 2003, Spain and Morocco agreed to explore the possibility of building an underwater railroad tunnel. This would connect the rail systems of the two countries similar to the Channel Tunnel between France and the UK. 
However, the Strait of Gibraltar is a far less stable area due to seismic activity and strong currents. After a period of inactivity, the governments of Morocco and Spain announced in February 2023 that they would resume the tunnel project. Construction is scheduled to begin in 2030. The underwater section of the tunnel would be 177 miles long and laid at a depth of 1,560 feet. This is a significant undertaking, as the deepest underwater tunnel currently in operation is Norway's Rfilka Tunnel at 955 feet. The Gibraltar Tunnel will connect Spain's Punta Paloma Cape to Morocco's Malabata Cape. The project is estimated to cost around $8.8 billion and could transport 12.8 million passengers per year. The Gibraltar Tunnel could be a key trade link, carrying 13 million tons of cargo between Africa and Europe. It would also significantly reduce travel time between Madrid and Casablanca from 12 hours to just five and a half hours. Building a tunnel under the Strait of Gibraltar is one of the most ambitious underwater projects in the world. It's a complex undertaking due to the geological challenges and the need to maintain uninterrupted shipping traffic. In recent years, scientists have been exploring innovative bridge designs. Using mathematical modeling, British scientists have proposed new bridge shapes that could potentially overcome the limitations of traditional designs. These designs incorporate elements like spokes to improve structural stability and reduce the weight of the bridge. While these designs are still theoretical, they offer hope for a more efficient and cost-effective bridge. However, the Strait of Gibraltar's future is uncertain. Due to tectonic shifts, scientists predict that the strait will eventually close, creating a new ring of fire with increased volcanic activity. This closure is expected to occur within 20 million years, a relatively short time frame in geological terms. While this event is far in the future, it highlights the dynamic nature of the Earth's geological processes. Before we conclude, don't forget to like this video if you found it interesting. Your support helps us continue creating engaging content.